there is a certain amount that is passing strange about the fact that so many people who usually question what I think um, and use the gaps in how I re reply to their challenges against me. But so many people took at face value um, when I said that Camila Valiba has fallen for fourth place in the Beijing 2020 Olympics clued me in that I should be looking at Wispensky's crowd. And I proceeded to describe the productive research I'd done into cubism and its impact on Hollywood, which is a timeline stretching from when D.W. Griffith was working with Mussolini and Roe Walsh to when Roe Walsh was working with Reagan. Mussolini, D.W. Griffith, and Reagan are all connected by this span that goes back to the Wispensky crowd around the Cubists by way of a man named Bly Sanders who lost an arm, so he conceptualized, I think, an invisible arm. And she gave a flip signal. I had met the Wispensky people through flip. So I knew that if I had been pressed, what I was arguing is that Beliva fell and the Ukraine was invaded on a signal from Britain. How can you explain that? Well, actually, it does make a good deal of sense, and I, I will explain it. Um, using some notes I've taken today. And um, by way of explaining it, I'll start with the fact that you, what the American public doesn't really understand. I mean, to some extent, Greta Thunberg never really took a stand because with her climate change thing that she has going, she's always saying, we stand with Ukraine. Well, Yanukovych had been elected and was thrown out because he was hesitant to join the EU. And there was a made down revolution against him. And Kiev fell under the powers of NATO. Meanwhile, what was called Brexit was going on. Britain was pulling out of the EU. The European Union depends on um, the cooperation of a number of nations. So it wasn't just um, Yanukovych who was hesitating to join the EU, but Britain was pulling out. So the splintering of the EU power system was pulling from both sides at the same time. Now, why would they want that? The reason they would want that is obvious if you look at Putin is intolerable, but he's talented. And this is a very important function in the crowd that wanted to tear out the EU because the EU empowers international law. Its framework is similar to the United Nations and sustainable development goals of the United Nations in that the ICC, the International Criminal Court, is considered a very important function. Well, ha, 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 ha. Putin says the New World Order exactly the way Bush did. Putin is defending the derelicts in the Supreme Court, who supported, as his philosopher Dugan in Russia, supported the insurrectionist mob of populism around Trump. Why? Because they don't want international law. They don't want Bush put on trial as a war criminal. Putin is doing Bush a big favor, and Chomsky says it's uh, out of um, foolishness, but it's not. It's out of cunning. These people want to stop the EU. And if you go back in time, neither one 
the EU because of international law. So if you go back in time to the 80s, you see a time when there was martial law was under consideration. Because of the AIDS attack, Reagan was hollering um, his Federal Emergency Management Agency, which was designed at the University of Pittsburgh by Chancellor Wesley Poswar, where I was put in the medical library. Now, the philosophy that surrounded me is still being pummeled into um, insurrectionist flash mobs by Marjorie Green Taylor, for example. The idea of Kirill, the Russian Orthodox Church, and Trumpy Tune is that international law has no effectiveness against the devil, that what we're dealing with is Satan, that walled cities of the Bible must hold domain and their power structure, leapfrog oligarchs of money bags, should, um, should be capital providers for only the things that are good and everybody else should obey them. And what they did with um, the Black Studies program, for example, in the Green Party, was take African philosophy and theology of art, which is that these things have ceremonial functions, and the decomposition is written into their utility when they're made. They're made to decompose. Disciplic succession or mentorship, disciples succeeding, in other words, an authentic, um, in the sense that Confucius influenced Mencius and Mencius influenced so and so. The great chain of being is from direct contact with a master. It's a common concept in, Jap in Japan where they have things like um, Bunraku puppet and geishas where they're enculturated through the generations. The lost wax method makes a mold of um, each individual sculpture, the not mass produced. So you have this, um, you know, Bhutto's this philosophy of like body movements that are unusual being natural. And it leads this overall shamanism. And, you know, the perverts got in on it with Larry Flint and the Catholic perverts were saying, oh, there's a feedback loop from abortion into your mouth. And they were, you know, they put out sticky stuff. Pink Floyd has a scene like it in the wall. And Roger Water was heavily in on this. And so was Oliver Stone with Putin where she, the woman says he, he wants to take a piece of gristle out of his mouth. She goes, you eat that, and he's forced to swallow it. You know, they, they, this was the way they got children on acid. You think shooting up schools is the only thing they've ever done. You're wrong. The MK Ultra came storming into Fulton Elementary School, forcing inhalants on me as a child. So... What you see is this martial law society that arose. And what happens in a place like Tacoma, where they have the war game laid out in CinemaScope, like there's this really loud 1122, really loud 1122 Highland. And, you know, so the advertising um, November 22nd, 1963. And then it followed by umqua and basalt, for, which signifies very vicious assault. And they have Mildred at Pierce Street. Well, Mildred Pierce was the name of one of John Crawford's movies. So the, the symbolism of the, the game plan tends to uh, corroborate that there was a name index back in Pittsburgh. It was heavily intensive on name indexes. Ronnie and Casper, like Reagan and Weinberger, attacked me. You had the Parker Brothers, which is the name of a game company. You know, and they, a guy named Parker shows up when I get diagnosed with Parkinson's. And, and they have these voodoo uh, people inducing trauma and saying, it's Afrocology, it's Afrocology. Now, 
authority tends to be very wishy-washy about the idea of entrapment because low-level policemen do figure um, for entrapment to work, the person has to be somewhat corrupt. Well, the thing is, is that since um, character isn't always to blame, and so corruption and entrapment operations and vice have to be questioned sometimes because the prey might wonder, why am I being targeted? Why am I being followed? Why is this bait being set out? So a person could wonder why they're being used for um, some sort of project by an unknown agency. And so it's not, but in this case, it's not just entrapment. It's a mold. It's literally a mold. They use neuroplasm, vicious assault, basalt, vicious assault. And then they made a lampoon. And the mold of the lampoon was like, that and they soundtracked it with like um like they were playing this song just one breath it's instant death it's the aerosol gray machine you're walking along the road one day and up jumps a man dressed all in gray he throws some aerosol in your face you find your minds all over the place and you know they have uh monty python seems to have to guard him when he's gone oh. and then they if you if you if you lighten up as a child who's hostage, they're nicer to you. So they get this lamp and they start extruding, you know, Knight of the Lebo from Little Jimmy and so on, which they hold for blackmail purposes. But it's a mold. It's like a lost wax method. And it's used to burn a white as a sacrifice to this idea that the, um, the, the devil doesn't respond to international law. We have... And it's a, and for them it's like a holy word joke and from the, the walled cities of the Bible. Wattenmaker, which has atten in it, A T T like atten burrow and a tenanol, which they poisoned me in the heart with, which led to my diabetes and Parkinson's. Um Wattenmaker, which is a huge gyration on the Hiroshima bomb, you know. And um Attenborough and Wattenmaker work together in this um, playing field that tends to corroborate an index like Ronnie Casper, Wattenmaker, and um, they, they, um, they had the uh, sacrifice to the gods of uh, revenge for Yoko Ono. And um, what they don't want this law to be um, a possible function of the of the um, investigation. What they want is to overwhile people with the ideas of things like Budo and Africology's philosophy statement. Pitt's claim to be um, uh, running emergency services on Mount Desert Island because of the threat to Leslie Couch, which was never a threat. It was a manufacturer of an overplant um, agency of psychiatry man, trying to make it look scary, trying to make the victim look scary. Dependent, the, this, the claim to running emergency services depended very heavily on their saying they were protecting me from AIDS. Gabriel called it an experience park or scared straight program and yet like my mother came to the defense of the person who gave me a ten and all maybe she was trying to help you because the licky chops pornographers around Colin Powell the basalters who support Casper who support the mold who support the deranged human sacrifice who support Putin who support corrupt who support Clarence Thomas and the derelicts on the Supreme Court. All of these people said, we want to see him, Bobby Seale said, let's have a barbecue. Dennis Broda, let's have a barbecue. They wanted to burn somebody alive. So by half burning me alive, she's helping me. And this was all planned, you know. So how is this protecting me?
that right but playing a curve towards injecting somebody with with um hiv now the, we know from shawman's arrest that well i read the book kazatnik where i got my hands on it was through shawman um Chavetti, he was he not only survived Auschwitz, but he experienced a huge megadose of LSD. So the magnitude of the perversion of Martin Sheen and saying, you know, um, he is he threat is he does he want sex? Is he putting another person at risk? So Rosa was brought in to alibi that they weren't putting me at risk that they were trying to rescue me and I'm supposed to trust them. And then they say, turn the tables and say, oh, he's putting Rosa at risk because he doesn't know. He says that we're evil people who are capable of injecting people. And I explained all this to Rosa, that they were, and she just played their game for them and sub, sub COVID-19. Rosa and Greta come from this Attenborough circus. So, you know, the Putin's using the term the New World Order the Bush introduced. Neither of them want the international law because, for one thing, international law might question um, the truth of what happened with the um, COVID-19 and AIDS attacks. And they don't want that. No. So standing with Ukraine is standing with the abolition of international law and international safeguards. Because Ukraine and Britain were behind the destruction of the EU. You might say that the Maidan Revolution was an attempt to rectify Yanukovych's hesitancy. That his hesitancy would come from the fact that Britain was pulling out. Britain gave Believer the signal to fall for fourth place. Britain and Russia worked out that whole mania together because NATO moved in, not the EU. The EU moved out of the EU into NATO. There's a difference. And they're both um, justifying this barbecue stuff. Like um, they, they claim that uh, the pinch nerve and my facial nerve was was from um was neurogasmic or something you know and 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 that it was therapy that means they knew it was there they put it there so it was a mold and that mold predates goes back to 74 73 so you know the international safeguards are being put down so that um so that the EU doesn't have any hope of um, using their alliance power to, well, I'm just not saying that there's any, any suggestion that they would um, take a stand for international law and COVID nodes. I mean, but, they, but the, the, the new world order is making sure that they don't have that opportunity. And, um, when I, the people who surround me who run the feedback loop from pervert Catholic, Mary Flint, put that in your mouth, queer ball. They poison me in the mouth for COVID. Or people who go back to when Mr. Rogers um, talked with my mother outside the Masonic Lodge at Pitt, where the FEMA was, back in the days of martial law. Um, before, even before back in the late 60s was when that happened, like 1967, 1968. And he looked at me like I was Rosemary's baby. I almost asked my mother, I thought he liked children. Why didn't he like me? He seemed to be afraid of me. You know, so there's a lot of um, hanky-panky going on. Now, one of the things it's important to remember is that the Wisconsin Circle is something that involves Hollywood. These are people who, like Putin is intolerable, but he's very talented. Believer is very talented. He's a, Roger Waters is talented. Stone is talented. They want the hands and the talented few 
to be providers, as intermediaries and media for the leapfrog oligarchs, the super money bets. And I guarantee you they have a secret weapon that can cause earthquakes. Trumpy tune does. You know, and they have the they have these horrible nuclear bombs. So they're 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 way out. And it's Hollywood trying to stop international law. That's what's going on. The celebrity super state doesn't want Robert Fripp arrested for t- terrorizing, torturing, poisoning James Curry and um, putting together a, a Swami Nostra that goes back to 911 is the, and the, uh, the burning oil fields is a perfect storm for Larry Flint's you know, um, AIDS therapy sessions, you know, and they say, now you put that in your mouth, like that Pink Floyd scene, you know, that's what's going on with these, um, uh, tripped out weirdos. And, um, you know, it has a lot of fascination for people. Sustainable development goals, Ms. Thunberg, depend on international law, the European Union. But you're, if you're taking a stand for them, you should stand up against Britain's Brexit, which is was something that the, the American fascists were on a real bender in Kiev, you know, whooping it up when you, you the Yanukovych began to waffle. What's wait a minute? What's going on with the EU? Are we being set up? And when it's and he, all he asked was a grace period to, to have to assess the situation, and they went berserk. So um, you have to wonder what's really going on, and like Yoko Ono had this thing called the grapefruit, which that's the reason why you can't see the lamb lies down on Broadway, because huh? Pino Gabriel decided he would grapefruit to pleasure John Lennon. He wouldn't make a film a uh, whole per- performance video of the lights down Broadway and now he can't anymore because he's fat and stinking so it means you know it's like the lost last master of Africa and the and the, and the union with spinner beanies from Cornell West jump down I got it I got it we'll great through all the sacred souls we'll great through all the sacred souls Brian you know, we'll talk to Putin and get it all set up for Trumpy Tune. And that's what's going on. It's the Hollywood's trying to dismantle any hope of civilization. 